So were you addicted to meth? No. Your mother? Did she do meth? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. That just sounds funny. F funny how? <laughs> Your mother? Did she do meth? You don't hear it? Hear what? Your mother? Did she do meth? What? Your mother? <laughs> Did she do meth? I don't... Never mind. Columbus, a film that came out in 2017, was perhaps one of the biggest missed films I've ever seen. It's so underrated, it's actually criminal. The film is directed by a man named Koganada, who made his name making video essays for the Criterion Collection. He directs a film called Columbus, starring John Cho and Haley Lou Richardson, as their characters traverse through a town called Columbus. Actually, I'll take one if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Thank you. You speak English. You don't think Asians can speak English? Yeah, of course. No, yeah. I was just, I heard you speaking the phone and I... Sorry, I'm being a jerk. You offered me a cigarette and I'm giving you a hard time. Columbus is a town that can only be described as a mecca of sorts for architecture. The town is exquisitely designed and appears to be almost out of science fiction. Now before anyone thinks I'm about to spoil this for them, let me just say that this film is about one of the only films that are virtually impossible to spoil, because there's literally nothing to tell, and that's not a bad thing. This is a story that represents minimal growth within characters, but rather the bread and the butter of this film is in its encapsulating viewing experience. The beautiful cinematography in this film is beautiful not in just its end product, but also in its ease of use. The sheer simplicity of its execution is a thing to behold. In my opinion, most young filmmakers go for flashy, difficult shots that have erratic or unnatural camera movements that leave audiences dumbfounded, all in an effort to make films look sexy or to try and hypnotize the audience into the world of their film. But Columbus takes a different approach reveling in simple and straightforward cinematography that is so simple even for student filmmakers working out of their own pockets wouldn't find much trouble in replicating the shots in this film. Director of photography Alicia Christian truly has my respect alongside director Koganada for making this frankly overlooked choice in making a film. It's often forgotten the beauty of simplicity. The film is guided by the characters. Forgoing any form of plot or story direction, Coconada's debut project shines in its lack of story. It's a slow burn of a slow burn. Its most exciting moments are when characters converse with one another. In order to appreciate the beauty of Columbus, one needs to understand that this film has at best a supporting story to its visuals. When you sit down to watch it, don't think or ask questions. This isn't that kind of movie. It's also more than just a feeling. What's on screen? but it's also like looking into two people's lives without their permission. Coconada up till now can be regarded loosely as a film critic, gaining fame from his frankly god-level video essays that I myself hope to one day emulate. There's very much spoken disdain between filmmakers and film critics. Their views often butt heads on a lot of topics regarding the convention of cinema. How refreshing it is to see a critic themselves break that very same convention that they claim to uphold. 
Koganada is an extremely talented director whose work is so clearly influenced by the great Yasujiro Ozu. Koganada demonstrates many of Ozu's trademark elements in Columbus. The hallway shots are framed beautifully, and the wide shots that just remain still and static allowed to breathe in their atmosphere. Tokyo Story is a must-watch for those who are interested in the work of one of Japan's greatest exponents of the cinematic arts. Yasujiro Ozu firmly stands alongside the greats of his time, shoulder to shoulder. Critics often speak about films with an almost indifference to their tone, ignorance of the blood, sweat and tears behind the films, while breaking down the vision of the director without mercy. Their verdicts influence the vast public as a kind of guide to what's good to watch and what isn't. What impressed me the most about Koganada's approach to the film was how not only did he keep in line with the textbook basics of filmmaking, but also broke those rules to further tell his story the way he intended. Teaming up with A24, Koganada brings us After Young, his second feature film which stars Colin Farrell and Haley Lou Richardson amongst a talented group of actors in this sci-fi film. What I hope to see in this film is whether or not Columbus was a sign of things to come for Koganada, and if that really is the birth of a new auteur of cinema. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. The Film Major, signing out. Yeah, I hear this town is quite the mecca. Sure, everyone here is fanatical about architecture. Are you kidding? No, most people... They don't really have any idea. I mean, they know some things, but they don't really give a shit. Is that right? Yeah. You'd be surprised how little people know or care about architecture here. Maybe not. What do you mean? I don't know shit about architecture or care. I don't believe you. It's true. I'm just like everyone here. You grow up around something and it feels like nothing.